Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you don't mind, maybe consider subscribing to this channel. I try to put out videos on a regular basis. And also when you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. With that said... Let's get into today's video, shall we? So let's talk about Sam Howell. Now, there's a lot of people who are calling for Sam Howell. Let's just put him in because it seems like that this season is lost, right? I mean, obviously, you know, this season is not getting any better. Um, we're one in four right now and possibly come Thursday night, who knows? We could be one and five, even if we're two and four. That is still a huge hole that the commanders are having to dig themselves out of. And a lot of people, yours truly included, honestly thinks that maybe this season is, is lost. And because of that, there are, there are really a lot of people who are considering that maybe the Washington commanders should think about putting Sam Howell in to give him some playing time. Now, me personally, I cannot wait to see Sam Howell. I think that he has a bright future ahead of us. And this is one thing that I do feel like that the front office got a steal for. I mean, this is a fantastic move that the front office did within the draft was to get Sam Howell in the fifth round. I mean... Sam Howell, in my opinion, is not a fifth rounder. He is a much higher talent than that, and I think you'll see this down the road. But, um, you know, honestly, I don't think, in my personal opinion, that you put Sam Howell out there this season. Because, for one thing, that, that offensive line is horrible. And Sam Howell will just get eaten up. He will get eaten alive if you try to put him behind that offensive line right now. And I don't know what you would have to gain by putting Sam Howell out there at this point. I think that, honestly, it's going to be better for him to sit it out this entire season uh, behind some veterans, behind, uh, of course, Carson Wentz, uh, learn from him, learn from, um, you know, Taylor Heineke, and just, you know, kind of carry the clipboard and just watch and see how the game is played on the pro level. And, you know, honestly, I think that's going to do him a lot better, a lot more good than it will be to just throw him out there in the in the fire. I mean, you look at it, you, you go back and you look at in years past, in decades past. Okay, you know, maybe you'll say, okay, things don't work now how they did back in the past, Greg. I don't always agree with that just because that I talk about how things used to be handled doesn't mean that they're necessarily no longer warranted. I think that sometimes it's better that you're able to draft a guy like Sam Howell and sit him for a season. You know, let him learn and let him see how things are within this league before you throw him in there. He's going to learn a whole lot by holding the clipboard. Believe me, he, he really will. Now, yes, ultimately he needs to get his feet wet, he needs to get in there and play. He did get to play the entire third game of the preseason, which was very good. Um, you know, that was a good experience for him. But I don't agree with throwing him out there this season, uh, no matter what the season is at this point. I think the only way that Sam Howe gets out there is if both Taylor Heineke and Carson Wentz are hurt, and then we have no other choice but to start Sam Howell. But other than that, I don't think that you put Sam Howell out there just because the season's lost. I think what you need to do is you need to just let him continue to learn behind the other two quarterbacks. Next year, you come in and you build a better offensive line. You see, you take what Sam Howell has learned from the other guys and you see how much he's improved. You see what progress he's made. You see if he can start pushing for at least the, the backup position. And at that point, if, if he can push for the backup position, then you've got a chance there. But I don't think that you're going to throw him in there so soon, especially this year. I know 
we all want to spark. We all want to see something different. We need to see changes made for this team. And we want to see it now because guess what? We hate being able to watch football on Sunday and then by the end of the, the game, we're all like, why did we waste three hours of our time watching this mess? I totally get that. But I don't think that you're, you're going to do us any wonders. You're not going to do Sam Howe any wonders by throwing him into this. I think what you need to do is you just continue to build him along. You know, on the sidelines, he's going to listen to how the coaches and how the quarterback interacts with each other uh, during game situations. He's making his own notes about that. He's going to be prepared. He's going to take that step next year. He's going to be ready to play next year. Now, he may not be a starter next year. I would not necessarily put him in as a starter next year. I think possibly you still you still go with Carson Wentz, especially if you have a better offensive line. Uh, chances are we may have another coaching regime. Um, that's going to be very important because it does, a, does another coach draft another quarterback, especially if this team is in a position where they're going to draft very high do you draft a quarterback? And then what, what does that happen with Sam Howell? Um, that remains to be seen, but I, I really think that Sam Howell has a very bright future ahead of him. I mean, you, you look at Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins did play a couple of games there because Robert Griffin got hurt in that first, you know, that rookie season. But Cousins didn't really start coming into his own until that, that year, 2015. Uh, so three years after he got drafted, or two years after he got, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> he it, it took him some time, and then once he finally got in there, and it took him about half of that season, you know, that you like that game. That's That was kind of his breakout game there. But, you know, other than that, I, I think that you bring Carson along slowly, and I, I do believe Ron Rivera is doing the right thing with that. Uh, we're not going to put Carson Wentz in at this point. We're going to let him, Carson Wentz, Sam Howell, we're going to let Sam Howell sit back and continue to learn. I think in time we're going to be able to see number 14, and I think that once we do, we're going to be in a better position. We're going to be in better shape. Offensively, we're going to have a better offensive line. Um, you know, he's going to have a couple of years under his belt, and I think at that point, we're going to have some seasoned wide receivers. It's going to be a great position for Sam Howe to walk into. And that's one thing I will say with Ron Rivera. I think that Ron Rivera, he's setting this team up just in case if he does get the boot. You will see later on, okay, Ron Rivera did some good things for this team. And I think he did. I don't, you know, we're all frustrated with Ron Rivera right now. And I don't think that things are working out for Ron Rivera as head coach. But I do think that he has put some pieces in place that will be good for this team if they hold on to those pieces and they do let, you know, Ron Rivera go somewhere else. And I think that Sam Howell is one of those pieces. And I think you hold on to him. He didn't cost you hardly anything. He's a fifth-round pick. And I think he's a much better talent than fifth than round five. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Sam Howe. Do you think he should be thrown into the fire this year? Seasons lost? What does it matter, right? Or do you think that we continue to do what we do with him? Let's keep him on the bench. Let's let him learn behind the other quarterbacks. Let's let him just take it all in. And then year two, let's see what he can do. Let's put him out there. Let's give him a little bit more playing time in the preseason. And then let's see if he can try to push for some more playing time, possibly during the regular season. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Share it with your friends. And subscribe to this channel if you possibly can. Again, please subscribe. Um, and then hit that notification bell. And with that said, uh, thank you for supporting this channel. I swear that I'm inspired